Uh, why is being alive so hard sometimes? <laughs> Maybe I'll do this. <laughs> hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. So happy to have you here. The sun is playing me, but this was like the closest spot I could get, which really isn't even that close, but you guys know my, my knee is bum. Is a bum knee right now. So we're just gonna sit here for a second. I wonder if I did this. Can I do this? Oh, look at me using my noggin. I just have to be kind of close to you guys. I'm just gonna lean forward. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I think that's good. So I really didn't want to leave the house today. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really, I honestly haven't wanted to leave the house lately. I think I'm just like, my body is still recuperating from the vid and my knee is still really bruised and swollen and obviously with the tiny queen I hate leaving her but every single day she has been improving which is great um quick update on her again if you don't want to hear about booties you can go forward but I figured I'd just update you guys really quick because so many of you are so sweet and so invested that I just wanted to let you know what's up um and you guys had a lot of questions too so while I have sunlight because of course it took me forever to get out I'm going to ramble for a second. You guys know how it goes. You can always skip forward if you're just into like the shopping, um, which I'm not sure what all we'll, we'll do today, but you'll see in the thumbnail, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, so, well, first of all, I'm right outside Walmart. Just, you know, that's where we're going first because I got to pick up some prescriptions and um, I thought I'd pick up their Valentine's Day stuff. But anyway, so Tiny Queen, the first step that we're doing um, is adding more fiber to her diet. So a diet change, obviously she needs to lose a little bit of weight because they're saying that her size has a lot to do with it. Um, even when she was a kitten and small, she didn't clean herself. Uh, so I've had to wipe her booty pretty much her whole life. Um, but now she is a very big cat. She's like 22 pounds. <laughs> so she needs to lose a little bit so that if she wants to clean her booty, she can. Um, plus that is just causing, that's directly causing other problems with the, uh, with her uh, anal glands. So um, we're gonna try that. We're staying on this path for right now. Uh, she's got special wipes that really seem to be helping. So eventually, cause there were some people that asked if I should just be putting her down. And first of all, we're nowhere near that. I would never make a cat suffer that needed, you know, I would never do that. I would never do that. Um, just so you guys know, but we're nowhere near that. I think it's just been maybe the same infection that's like not fully gone away or due to some mistakes, <laughs> possibly. Um, she's also a lot like me, where when she gets sick, it can take a lot to get her better. What's really sad is all of the stress from her being so sick over the weekend, last weekend. Um, she's also got like the kitty herpes kind of thing where like she gets a cold. I don't know the exact name of it, um, but they refer to it like as cat herpes. <laughs> she doesn't get like herpes, but she gives herself a cold. Like she, she basically can give herself a cold. So she's been sneezing. Um, she's doing a lot better though. I've got the, oh, I left the humidifier on. Just realized that I never leave things on when I leave the house because I get so nervous. My ex like completely made me super paranoid. Um, but that's fine. It'll be fine. I'm not going to be gone very long. Um, that's probably best for her anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I love that the whole time I was sick. I kept thinking I should plug in the humidifier. I should plug in the humidifier. Did I? Not once. Her? right away. <laughs> right away. I was like, she needs the humidifier. She's my baby. She needs to be able to breathe. Anyway, each day has been a lot better. Her booty's looking better. She's acting better. She's playing a little bit. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness. That cat toy that they love, the, uh, the fishing pole, you guys, they have literally pulled every single feather out of that. So I just, um, got on Amazon and ordered another one that comes with a bunch of attachments. So because they like play with that thing all day and the tiny queen loves it. And of course it's good for her to be playing, um, anything that's going to keep her active. And I just love playing with them. It's so fun in that one. Like, even if I'm not feeling good, I can lay in bed and still play with them, which I love. Uh, so yeah, she's, she's improving and I know that she improved before. So I'm, you know, wary of course, cause I don't, I don't know. Um, eventually she could have to have her anal glands removed, which if she needs to, we'll do that. I know that there could be a lot of complications with that, but if that's what we need to do, that'll obviously, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Um, but, <sighs> okay. So anyway, um, I'm very tired today. I slept way later than I wanted to. I even went to bed early last night for me before midnight. Um, I probably didn't fall asleep till after midnight because I can never fall asleep right away. Um, but I did get in bed early to try and get out earlier today and I was going to try and get to the post office. Um, but Tiny Queen laid down next to me 
and I fell back asleep until 1 p.m. So I think my body is just super exhausted and I'm already, I already have chronic fatigue. Um, so sorry to whine and complain. I mean, I'm, I'm much better. <laughs> I'm in a much better mood. I'm just super duper tired. I think that the adrenaline was getting me through before and now it's like, because I've started to relax, I'm just extra sleepy. But anyway, it's around 4 p.m., so we're going to lose sunlight. I thought I had my little light in the car, but luckily, like, I'm sure that we can still do some stuff with this. Uh, a couple things on the agenda today. Again, I'm at Walmart now. We're going to peek at the Valentine's and stuff. I need to pick up a couple things. I need more liquid IV. I don't know. I don't know if I want to grab a couple groceries or not because I'm worried, you know, I'll be out for a little bit, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how busy it is in there. It doesn't look too bad. It did snow last night. There's, like, no snow in the parking lot, but there's definitely snow all around my house. Uh, so it might not be too busy, but it is Saturday because why do I go out on Saturdays? Because I push things off until the last moment. Hello, ADHD. Until I absolutely have to do them. So now I have prescriptions that I need to pick up. So I'm going to do that. Um, look at the Valentine's Day stuff. I'm probably going to go to Home Goods. Okay, so why we're going to Home Goods today and I'm not waiting till a less busy day. First of all, Valentine's Day is coming up and I have not gone once to look at stuff. And of course me when I should not be spending money I'm like I'm gonna go shopping uh because I want to look because I want to look so I'm gonna try and at least do that plus I know you guys are sick of hearing about this but and I'm very sad because Panda Express's orange chicken beyond orange chicken trial is like over so basically when the stores run out they run out and the two excuse me now three as of this morning now three all three closest to me do no longer have it but the one by the home goods still has it so I just want to go get it one more time before it's gone and hopefully it did well and they'll bring it back but like that beyond vegan orange chicken from Panda Express is like not I would pay so much more for it if I had to go to like a fancy restaurant for it I would I would. So I'm very bummed that it's going away. So we need to go grab some of that while we can. You know what I'm saying, girl? You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and go to Walmart. Here are the options. So once I do this and I drive out there, there's like Home Goods, there's Michaels, there's Ross, there's Joanne's. So I think those might be the ones that we might hit up. It all depends on how my knee feels, how my brain feels, what allows. I did just go grab another coffee. I know you're shocked. It's just a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. It's got a grande, a grande. Um, because I was driving, I was like, Channing, you don't need a coffee. I need a coffee. I need a coffee. I really want to go to the grocery store near me more than I want to go to Walmart. But anyway, Wish me luck in Walmart. Let's go see what we can find. There might be some cute stuff. I have nothing I'm exactly looking for. Just whatever speaks to me. I'm hoping that they might have some cute lights or some cute containers or jars or something like that. Um, I love little jars. <laughs> I don't know why. I like to be able to put little things in little jars. But yeah, let's go to Walmart. Let's go see what's up. Okay, let's go. All right, loves. We are going to Walmart. I <laughs> wanted to show you my wonderful outfit. I'm wearing like olive cargo sweatpants. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, I saw these cute spring plastic bowls and cups. And I just had to grab a couple of these pink ones. I thought they were too cute. Um, I love those bowls. I have them in other colors. I talk about it in just a minute when I haul stuff. But I did grab those. I checked out their dollar section to see what they had. They had some cute little tins. I liked this one a lot. But I really didn't need a little heart tin. So I left it. I think if it had been a dollar, I may have taken it home. But at the same time, I didn't really need it. So I just left it, even though I was kind of looking for containers. But I didn't know what I was looking for. Uh, so anyway, I ventured to the Valentine's Day section, and I just feel like I'm late to everything, late to everything, but they still have a ton of stuff. They had a ton of stuff, but I didn't know exactly what I was looking for, and honestly, I don't feel like I normally find a lot in the Walmart Valentine's Day section that I need, so it's cool, but I still had to check it out. They had lots of little nails. I think that they must have been kids' nails. They were so stick and cheap. I was hoping to find some like adult nails but I feel like these were kids nails they just look so tiny I couldn't find on there where it said they were kids nails but I just put them back so I was like these just look itty bitty <laughs> uh, they had a lot of cute cups a lot of cute party supplies part of me debated getting one of those headbands because I'm taking some Valentine's Day photos but I already got a couple like props so I think I'm good they did have some cute little scrunchies I was hoping for more I thought these were too cute. Had these like not look like they were children's, I would have definitely grabbed them. Um, some cute hair accessories. I was hoping for more. Their baking section, they still had a ton of stuff. Lots of cute sprinkles and 
baking cups and stuff like that. So if that's something you're looking for, they have a lot of treat bags, lots of cute cups, like all different kinds of cups and containers. So loved that. They had some other fun stuff. I thought this was like the coolest Valentine's Day candy box I think I've ever seen. I don't know. I just thought it was rad. Not, not that it was Krabby Patties, just like the design of it. They did have some, oh, why did I, I like saw that, but didn't see like the plastic plates next to the plastic bowls. I don't know what I was thinking. I probably should have investigated those more, but you know what? I was just, I talk about it after this, but I was just so anxious while I was in there because it was so busy. Uh, so I just kind of, you know, wandered around and tried to see like what all I could find. Tons of candy. But of course, most of it's not vegan. So I just checked it out. They did have some cute lollipops. I had been looking for some heart-shaped lollipops again as a prop for photos. I did find some blow pop minis though, and I was excited about those. I thought this little hair set was really cute. I wish that those were available separately because there were some cute ones, uh, but I really didn't need all of them, but it would have been nice to see them. But that is a really fun set. So if you're if you're looking for some, you could check them out. Uh, I miss those so much. <laughs> one of the number one candies that I miss being vegan are those I probably have said that every single year since going vegan but those little Cadbury eggs oh my gosh somebody please veganize them and make it good I know that in the UK there's a Cadbury like vegan chocolate bar I really hope it comes to the US anyway I thought I would check out the earrings because I had some and I lost them and I'm just looking for some little gold hoops and I almost bought just like one little set that I saw this whole set for such a good deal. 48, are you kidding? They had some really, really cute beanies. I love this one because it kind of looks like a strawberry. So cute. So cute. And then this, this guy was on sale. It was so busy. I literally was just like, I walked through the fashion so fast and just people everywhere. <laughs> Um, and then I went to go grab some just egg patties. So I grabbed those and checked out like what they had in the vegan section. I was like, see what's new. But yeah, that, that's it for Walmart. There wasn't anything too exciting. Oh, and they did have those, those Eggo chicken sandwiches, which I like both things, but I don't like them together. Oh, hey loves. Oh my gosh, I just tried to fix my glasses and they're not there. Because it's so cold, like instantly when I walked in there and like I'm really warm because I'm wearing this jacket because my outfit does not match at all because I'm literally wearing PJs uh, because the only thing that will really work on my leg right now for like actual movement is sweatpants as you guys saw. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I am just like super anxious today. I think part of it like I think the fact that as soon as I walked in my glasses were like super foggy it just like triggered my anxiety like crazy. Like crazy so the whole time I was in there and there were so many people that like every corner I went around I almost ran into someone and I was just like so paranoid someone was gonna hit me in the knee because my knee is so sore and I feel like my bandit's falling off <laughs> uh, why is being alive so hard sometimes <laughs> you know anyone else feel me my makeup could be all over my face from putting on and off my mask um I just had to take it off when no one was around me or like when I was about to have a freaking panic attack. Um, but anyway, I hate anxiety so much, you guys. I really, I truly do because that should be such a simple thing, but it's just not. <laughs> going to Walmart is ugh. But I did get a few cute things that I'm gonna show you really quick. I almost just put this in my glove, not my glove box, my center console. I gotta drink that water, I gotta hydrate. Um, there's a couple more things in the back, but I think it's just my Just Egg Patties, and there was some Cinnabon-flavored Mrs. Butterworth syrup, um, that I had to grab. But I just threw the most of the stuff in the back because I didn't want to hold it up, but I did get two of these pink bowls. How cute are they? I actually really love these. I have them in black and a different pink. Um, I think I got the different pink ones from Walmart, and then the black ones from Target, and I think they both charge only 50 cents for them. Honestly, I feel like I should have gotten more, but I felt like a dollar's worth was enough for today. I got some more liquid IV. I got the grape flavor. It's my favorite one. I don't know. It tastes exactly like grape Kool-Aid. I'm trying to like the other ones. Is my... My card's got two minutes left. Are you kidding? I'm gonna have to delete some stuff. I did get the Dolly Pot and the Ultimate Fudgy Brownies because they can be made vegan, and Big Box Vegan told me so. Um, this lady is looking at me. I got... <laughs> I got some mini blow pops because they're my favorite, but I really don't like the strawberry lemonade flavor, but that's fine. You can clearly, I'm on a health journey, right? <laughs> Trying to stay sane. That's my, that's my, my health journey right now. I also grabbed this because I needed some more instant coffee because I'm still in that whipped coffee train. Um, <clears throat> oh, and then one last thing. I had 
gotten a set of cute like little gold hoops from Rouge 21 and I really like them. They did kind of irritate my ears, which these will probably irritate my ears too, but I think I accidentally threw them away. I think they fell into my garbage in my bathroom because stuff loves to do that. So I did grab this cute little cheap set of gold hoops because I just wanted some to see how they would go. I would put some on now, but I think I will sanitize. There's some really cute ones in here and like this is the only kind of hoop that I can really wear because my ears are, were stretched. So they still are kind of butthole -y, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I just wanted some local hoops. I just feel like they elevate every look. Um, and if I like these, maybe I'll get the silver set because I think they had the same set in silver. But these are so cute. That's such a good deal for four eighty eight. If you guys have a favorite brand of hoops that are like hypoallergenic that don't bug your ears, let a girl know. Or if you have like a solution, because I think that there didn't there used to be like little plastic things you could put on there. I don't remember. But if you guys know, let a girl know. Um, but yeah, that's everything I grabbed there. Let's head to the valley. We will go to Home Goods first because I have a feeling. I don't know. Ross is always so busy. Ross is always so busy. Um, I better figure out this memory card because it's saying zero minutes, so it's about to cut me off. Um, but I'll see you in the valley, and I don't know exactly where we'll go first, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's go, guys. All right, babes. Home Goods. Finally, we're here. I always know it's a bad sign when everything is pushed up front because that means that they only have enough that like they don't have that much left and it's just like pushed on to tables. Uh, they had a lot of cute mugs. None of them were ones that I, you know, absolutely needed to take home. Uh, I thought these were the cutest placemats ever, but when do I ever use placemats? But part of me was like, can I just put them on my wall? They're all pink and ruffly. They were so cute. I thought that little like I don't know, a cheese board? Is that what it is? It was really cute. This guy, you guys, I don't know why, but I'm still thinking about this. But it was $25, and like, I, it would literally just sit on a shelf. But I don't know what it is about this, but I think it is so adorable. So adorable. Probably the cat, and the fact that it's like pink and cute. <laughs> they did have some cool cupcake carriers. I really didn't need one, so I left that. I'm really bummed that I missed a lot of the like dishes and stuff because it's always my favorite part of going. Uh, but I still made sure to look at every single thing. They had a lot of cute little candy. This made me laugh. Nuts about you. <laughs> I do enjoy a good pun. I do have to let you guys know. I know you're going to be absolutely so shocked beyond anything. Um, I'm exhausted as I'm <laughs> filming this voiceover. It's the next day. But this exhaustion is good. I got so much film today, which is really, really exciting. Um, just need to go to sleep but could not not do the voiceover for this video that goes up tomorrow so here we are hopefully you're at least entertained by i'm sure you're probably used to it actually <laughs> i'm always exhausted uh, i thought this moon shelf was really cute uh, i have i don't think it's the exact same one but it's almost the same one and i was tempted to get another one but i really didn't need it how much was it forty dollars that's not bad that's not bad they have so many good, like, it's probably because spring is coming. Spring organization. So many good organizers. So if you're looking, I got you. Also, if you're into Easter, Easter is not my vibe. It's a long story, but it's just not my vibe. This is me realizing that everything is missed. Why didn't I buy this? Regrets. Regrets. Pink glass. So cute. Could put all things in. I'm not a huge Disney person. Like, I love Disney, don't get me wrong. And if I had to pick someone, it would be Minnie Mouse. Uh, but those were freaking adorable soap dispensers. Are you kidding me? So cute. They had so many cute plushes. I thought this little guy was cute. I just love deer. Uh, I thought this leopard chair was kind of cool. I always keep hoping that I'll just find some like magical chair that I love, like a hot pink chair or something, but <sighs> it has not happened. They did have quite a few like pink candles and stuff like that left, so if you're looking for that, they've got you. I decided to go visit this again because I couldn't stop thinking about it, but ultimately I decided I really just didn't need it because I'm just, it would literally just be decor. Hey loves, as you saw, I popped in home goods and I was late. I had a feeling I was gonna be late. <clears throat> I should have gone weeks ago, but the last few weeks have been so crazy. Uh, so I totally missed out on all the things. For some reason I was like obsessed with that little radio, but I absolutely have no reason besides putting it on a shelf to get it. So I didn't get it. Plus it was $25. Had it been like 15, I may have gotten it, but I just, you know, I don't even know what I was looking for. I was hoping for like maybe some heart shaped dishes, a heart shaped like What's it called? Dutch oven? Something like that. 
a really cute mug. Like, they had some cute stuff, but nothing there was, like, that I needed. So, I didn't get anything at Home Goods. I did remember, oh my gosh, you guys, for some reason, my brain, the anxiety of Walmart, just, like, I was already tired before I got to Walmart, and now I, like, I probably could, like, fall asleep in my car. <laughs> like, I'm not going to fall asleep driving or anything, don't worry. Um, but that's the level of exhausted I am. I think that I'm in, like, PMS, PMDD time frame and luckily because of my birth control it's like my mental I'm not as like it's coming out in a different way I'm just freaking exhausted which I will take exhaustion it could still be like the last time I had COVID you guys I was exhausted for months so it could really be that I honestly have no idea I was feeling pretty good um but I think just the stress of the last week, like I said. So I apologize. I'm sorry that, like, I hope you guys know that, like, I don't want to come on here and complain. And I want things to be good. And I want to have good energy. And I want to, like, do all these things. But the reality is with chronic illness and mental illness, honestly, it's really hard to control. And, like, I really want to be in a good mood. And I really want to, like get out of the house before it gets dark. I hate being out when it's dark. I hate it. I don't know what it is. It just increases my anxiety to like an insane level. Um, but, <laughs> but I don't know. I really, I had to go to Walmart. So then I was like, well, if I'm getting ready and going out, I might as well like, cause it takes so much for me to leave the house, you guys, which sounds really ridiculous, but like it takes every ounce of will in my body to get me to leave the house some days. Um, that sounds really dramatic, but it's very true. And today was one of those days where I was like, I just want to lay here and do nothing. Um, but the love of that orange chicken and the fact that I didn't pick up my prescriptions in time last time, one of them in time last time, and it got put back because I had COVID and then the queen got sick and I just forgot. And the day that, like, I had to go before they put it back, I just could not bring myself to go. So I just didn't. Um, yeah. So I truly do apologize. That I know a lot of you guys understand what it's like. But anyway, so I definitely miss the boat at Home Goods, which I'm very sad about. There's still stuff online. There's a really cute little Dutch oven that Drew Barrymore made from Walmart. It's just kind of more than I wanted to spend. Um, it's probably a really nice one. I've always wanted a little Dutch oven and a heart one would be, uh, because I want to make the no need bread and like a Dutch oven. Like I've made the no need bread, but never like in a Dutch oven, like you're supposed to make it. And like, I just feel like that'd be so much fun. Plus heart shaped bread heart shaped bread are you kidding how cute um but anyway I thought this wasn't even on my list of places to go today but I forgot Joanne's is so freaking close to home goods it like fell off my radar by the way I stabbed myself in the eye with a mascara wand earlier because that's the level I want anyway I forgot Joanne's is right next to home goods so I think for our final destination of the day I think I will wait because if I go to Michael's Ross is right next door and I would love to go to Ross because they always have really cute Valentine's and stuff but I gotta know my limits, and I really just want to go home and check on the queen, and she probably needs a booty wipe, TBH, um, so I gotta go take, take care of my child, <laughs> um, but we are gonna pop in Joanne's, because uh, I saw they had this whole, which I probably am late to, because that's how I roll, but <clears throat> they dropped a whole mushroom collection and a strawberry collection, so I gotta go check it out, you know I gotta go check it out, um, strawberries, I love strawberries. I did get a teeny tiny planter. I need to open that package. Honestly, I haven't opened any packages in like two weeks. <laughs> Besides like ones that I know what it is and I know that I need it right now, like an Amazon one. But there's even stuff that I ordered from Amazon that I needed that is still sitting by my front door because I just like can't function as a human <laughs> right now. That's where we're at. But anyway, Joanne's strawberry collection mushroom collection. I freaking love strawberries. So if I can't find hearts, maybe they'll at least have some of the strawberry collection left that I can look at because I love strawberries. But anyway, what I was saying, I can never just get to the point, can I? What I was saying is I ordered a really cute little planter. But I think it's really tiny and I think they have a bigger one. Um, strawberry. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just telling me that it's dark and I'm fully aware. I parked under a light, but I don't think it's bright enough where I'm at. Um, but anyway, sorry it's dark. Sorry I'm a mess. Sorry. Once <laughs> we get out of winter, I'll be able to, then I won't have to stress about getting out. I feel like it's like I stress about getting out in time before the sun goes down, but then the stress like makes me go slower. It just, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's ADHD. I know that now and depression and anxiety and 
all of these things. But I think this is about all my knee can take anyway. So we're just going to go into Joanne's. I love you guys. You guys are so sweet and you're always so understanding. And like, I just get in my own head. And it's not like anyone's even said anything. Not lately. I definitely have had people in the past when I've been going through something. And like, it's been like a lot lately, you guys. <laughs> it's been a lot. Um, be like, you're just such a bummer. You're always so sad. I can't watch this anymore. I can't put up with you and your sadness. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's cool. I know you guys, I know you, you real ones, you got me. Um, but anyway, I could ramble for forever. So let's go to Joann's and see what's up. There might be something cute. Maybe they'll still have some Valentine's Day stuff. I honestly don't know um, what they have. Hopefully I can get to Michael's soon because they always put out like really pretty collections that like aren't specifically Valentine's Day. I mean, we'll see how I feel after this because Michael's is in the same parking lot as Panda Express. I don't know. I just don't have it in me to go to Ross. I would love to go to Ross, but like this is not the day for Ross. That Ross, here's what stinks. The Ross by the Michael's that's like in that same parking lot always has the best stuff. The best stuff for holidays. But it is always so busy and there's always people coughing all over everything. And the last thing in the world I need is to get more sick. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway. <laughs> I love you guys. Let's go to Joann's and see what we can find. Okay. 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 Let's go. I feel like literally just communicating that to you guys being like, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I'm sorry. I'm a bummer. Like literally. Why am I like that? No wonder I'm a ranter and a whiner because as soon as I rant or I get something out, it's like I, I harbor things and I stress and I stress and I stress. And then once I like talk about them, it's good. I'm in therapy. You guys, it is good. I have therapy on Tuesday, by the way, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, why am I like this? I love you guys. Let's go to Joanne's. All right, loves. We are at our final destination. How cute is this? How how cute was that? So cute. Um, so upon walking in, I did see that they did still have some Valentine's Day stuff. I thought these these were pretty cute. They had some heart pillows, but they kind of felt a little meh, little meh. So I didn't get any. Um, and they had some mugs, some little dishes. Not a ton, but they had some stuff. I love these little mason jars so much. They're like the rose colored ones, but they're always so expensive. I'm sure I could use a coupon on it, but you know, it's cool. So I went and found the mushroom section and see how many there are of each one of these. I feel like my store must be late getting them out or like no one's seen them or they just condensed them, but look how many there are of each thing. So I feel like they must have just put them out because I was shocked about like how many they had of each thing. Because I saw this stuff all over TikTok. Um, lots of cute stuff. It was, I think it was 30% off. Yeah, 30% off you can see. Those towels were adorable. I love moths. I think they're so cute. Um, look at this wreath. How cool is that? I do kind of wish it was a little less muted. But how cool is that? So cool. So many, just like all of this, adorable. Like I love mushroom stuff. So the whole section so cute if you're into mushrooms definitely go check it out i thought this little guy this was actually i think really affordable yeah 14.99 and then of course 30 percent off i really love this one but it was a little more than i you know wanted to spend i have something similar so i think i would need to paint that frame black and it just felt like too much work to me at the moment so i was like maybe i'll come back those were like the little lily pad shelves that i've seen all over tiktok that are so cute uh the mugs were adorable just um, how many times can i say cute 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 Oh, Tiny Queen just woke up and looked at me. Oh, no, no sneezing. Tiny sneeze. They still had a bunch of clearance from uh, Christmas, which is crazy. So if you're looking for some Christmas, this was actually pretty cool. I thought about grabbing that. And I was like, Shannon, you're, then you'll have to hold on to it all year. If you need some soap, they got some Christmas soap. And a little bit of like Valentine's Day candy towards the front. Very slim pickings, though. I guess, I mean... I guess Valentine's Day is becoming like Halloween where you got to shop really, really early or you just don't get anything. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. These containers were super duper cute and they also have these little carts on, on sale, which I don't need them. I mean, I'm sure I could use them. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I got stuff on stuff on stuff, but I decided not to grab one today. And yeah, that's pretty much it. They had some towels left, but not too much, not too much. All right, loves. So the lighting has hit terrible. 
terrible, so I apologize. Um, I didn't pick up anything at Joann's, but I do have to say that mushroom collection was so stinking cute. Oh, I didn't even see the strawberry collection, so I don't know if my store hasn't gotten it. I went through all of the areas where, like, the new decor normally is, so I'm guessing... It looked like they were still setting stuff up. Like, there was a lot of each mushroom thing, so I don't know if, like, we're late or they condensed, which seems crazy because I feel like the things that were so popular on TikTok are still there, like the wreath and the lily pad shelves and stuff, so I feel like... So anyway, I don't know. I'll check back. If not, it's cool. Not the end of the world. I feel like there's so many good things online, but sometimes it is fun to like go look in store and find cute stuff. I'm so bummed that I missed the Home Goods Valentine's Day, but it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> um, at least I got those clips of TJ Maxx, you know, and I still could go back to TJ Maxx and I still could shop online, but it's okay. It's okay. It's cool. Anyway, I'm going to go get dinner and go home because I cannot wait to go check on the queen and... I just ordered so much orange chicken. Did I just order $30 worth of Beyond Orange Chicken? I did. But maybe if I eat this all over the next few days, I mean, really, it's just like a plate and like a large side or like entree or whatever it is of like just the chicken because then I'll just make it with like rice at home. Um, I don't know. I panicked. I panicked. <laughs> It stinks when like you find something that you love so much like for me like it's gonna save me money because it's I honestly go to Taco Bell like not that often the only places I ever eat that are fast food is like Taco Bell or Panda Express but now like I probably won't really go to Panda Express as much which stinks because my boyfriend's obsessed with Panda Express too um so it was really nice for us to have somewhere that we could go like quick if we wanted to because we both are just so busy that by the time it hits our date night we'd love to just like our favorite thing in the world is just watch Netflix and eat dinner in bed. Like, that's that's what we love to do. Hang out with the cats and just, like, watch Netflix. Um, yeah, we are so meant to be. We are so meant to be. By the way, it's 555. The angel numbers are out of control. Um, but, yeah, that's what we love to do. And this really stinks that, like, they're getting rid of it. I hope that the test did well. Not that they're going to bring it back, but you never know. I mean, even if it was, like, certain locations, I would drive across town for it. Um, so... Panda Express. This is my petition on this vlog that's not going to get more than like 3,000 views taps. <laughs> like I matter. Um, anyway, I'm going to go now. I am I finally like have a small sprinkle of energy, but I think it's because I know that food's coming and I just realized all I've had today is an Uncrustable this morning and a lot of coffee. So no wonder I'm like a crazy person. Uh, I wish I had the energy to stop by the other store. I doubt I do, but I'm just going to go home to the cats. I'm just telling you my life story. Long story long, um, we will definitely go do some fun stuff. We will hit up Michaels and Ross and probably TJ Maxx again soon, just in case. Just in case. Um, I feel like Ross seems to have stuff longer than the other places. Home Goods is like the place where you've got to go early. And I missed it. But it's okay. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know where you want me to go next. I feel like we should go somewhere fun. Um, I will probably vlog when I hang out with Alina on Tuesday. Fingers crossed. So I think that's it. Um, but yeah, uh, if you made it to the end, what can you leave? What can you leave? Leave a mushroom emoji. There has to be a mushroom emoji, right? If there's not, leave your emoji of choice. <laughs> I forgot to do that in the last video. But I love seeing when you guys make it to the end. But Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to stop talking because I need to go pick up my food. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful night. I love you so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. By the way, the grape liquid IV. How was that my favorite? I never saw that coming. Uh, but it's so good. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's go to Walmart. And I don't know why it's flashing at me. Hopefully you're actually recording because something seems off. Are you... Are you good, bro? These lashes are so short. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right, you guys. And then I'm getting some Panda Express. Some more chicky, chicky, chicky. Should I get extra? I feel like I should get extra. Maybe I'll get extra. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's go to Joey. Anyway. <laughs> I wonder if I can, like, make the lighting. I feel like I look tired. Because <laughs> I am. Um, but, can... I wish I, I wish I would have, what are words?